Hey guys, what's up? It's Clip Clip here today, um, bringing you my first Let's Play uh, playthrough, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is my very first one, so bear with me. I've been trying to get the audio correct on some of these. I've been working on it a lot, and I hope this one's going to be as good as I think it's going to be. First things first, I'm not a professional, so I don't have a prof professional setup. So this is just the wall behind me, my collectibles and things that I've got. Uh, and um, So again, it's not a professional sort of video, but maybe later on, if I gain more money for the channel, I can get a more professional setup. But until then, I'm going to bring you this. Hopefully, it'll still be fun. Uh, I picked Outlast as my first Let's Play because I'm really kind of a jump scare guy. Um, so I'm not big into horror games. I played this one just recently. Uh, a few missions, actually. So, we'll see how this goes. I don't remember a whole lot about it, but uh, no matter what, the jump scares are going to be the funnest. So, we'll do this as a part one of however many we need to, and if it goes well, I will continue this on. If not, just let me know. Again, please let me know in the comment section and everything. And happy Thanksgiving. It's actually my birthday today again, too. I know some of you are alone on Thanksgiving, so I wanted to take the time out in between visiting my fiance's family and my own family to spend some time with you guys. So I'm going to edit this out and hopefully get it out by tonight. If not, I'll see you tomorrow then. But nonetheless, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, so why don't we just go ahead and get this started? Um, that way we can, uh, we can see how this is going to go. Like I said, Please leave a like, uh, comment, share the video so that people know, uh, you know, how this will go. So, let's just get this started again. I'm not huge on horror games, so we'll see how this goes. New game. We're going to go with Insane, right? Okay, normal, because I'm very bad at this. Well, I haven't gotten into a game before like this. Um, really into the storyline, actually, so we're going to try this out. Uh, Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic, sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. I will. You are Miles Upshire, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on Earth. Always willing to risk digging into stories no other journalist would dare investigate, you will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter to navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth. Your only choices are to run, hide, or die. So it sounds like we're going to be a couple of idiots going in here. Um, deciding they want to investigate by themselves. I would never do this, and I don't understand why anybody would. Like I said, it's been a while since I played this, probably a couple of months, actually, so I don't really remember a whole lot about it because I've played a lot in between then and now. So we'll see it. i got to say first things first about this game. The, the, the surrounding, the sound of everything is just, just awesome. So, you know, it's a, it's a really good game as far as sounds go. You know, the music, everything, the atmosphere most of all is what gets me about this game so as we start out of course this asylum has to be on the middle of freaking nowhere on a dirt road and here's a good question why does he have to go at night why can't we go during the day when no one's expecting us well you know i guess that's just uh kind of a thing i guess it has to be at night wouldn't be as fun i guess right see like the sounds on this game are just astounding to me mount massive asylum here we come I to get the shit scared of all of us. I know a lot of you have probably already seen a lot about this game. Um, so we'll kind of see how this goes. Again, I've only been through about the first mission, so this should be pretty interesting and fun. I'll see how far I can get. I don't want to make this Let's Play too long. Alright. Not to sit here and bore you guys, but here's your crappy content I've been uh, promising you. Confidential, let's pick that up. If you don't know me, have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Facilities in Mount Massive, all sorts of NDAs. I'm very breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep, finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt, and Murkoff is making money. Needs to be exposed. So I guess we're going to be the dumbasses to expose this thing. I think the camera is awesome, but here's the thing. Why bring a camera? You couldn't have brought a gun, nothing, even, even a knife. I mean, what are you thinking? Let me just pick this camera up to record some things and get the ass beat out of me. All right. So I, the, my, the whole thing about this game is my whole game, the, the experience I have, is fighting to find another battery when I'm running out of one. Um, so let's see here. I hope this commentary isn't too crappy for you guys. And I hope I'm doing all right. So, again, let me know what you think. Great start. Gates are closing on us. We can't get out. So, you know, our notes go here. Our documents are going to go here. And then notebooks will get us to notes and document, but I think this is where your inventory shows up the things that you're currently holding. Um, but I'm not a sh not a, not 100% sure yet. All right. 
Okay, so let's just get right to it. Good question why these computers are still on and out in the middle of nowhere where anybody can take them. Let's load them up in our Jeep and get out of here before we even try to go in here. Creep me atmosphere already, like I've already said. Um, I would not even want to step foot near this place. I remember this, that you can open the doors real sl uh, slowly or fast. I don't know why in the hell you would want to run fast with it. Uh, because I'm pretty sure it makes a lot of noise if I remember correctly. We're going to read what we just got here. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Mass Asylum shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell room reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of dis disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place is has to be big, might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. We're gonna be the ones that break the bastards. I remember we can run on this game, so I can't quite remember how to get in here. I don't think it's through this way. I remember some sort of shaft I wanna say that could get me up there. Okay, first things first. You see military vehicles up here, obviously stopping abruptly. Get the hell out of here. I mean don't even try it. Too easy to go through the front doors. We don't want to do that. It's got to be another way in. Why don't we break and enter? This sounds like a great idea. Oh, conveniently located uh, bent piece of fence that we can get under here. Oh, yeah, that's right. Here we go. Yeah. Let's zoom in and out here. Look at this. That's our way in. Let's go. Let's break a lock. Let's do it. Like I said, I remember all these controls because I played it just recently a couple months ago. And here, cue the creepy music, first of all. Not even inside the damn building yet. I got my Astro A50s on that I spent way too much money on when I was still working at GameStop. Uh, but they're giving me this full surround sound effect. Uh, that's going to lead me to get those jump scares really at full potential. Alright, let's jump in here. Oh, good start! Already sending shivers down my spine. This is what I fight the whole game. Trying to not run out of battery. Okay, this camcorder really sucks, by the way. What camcorder runs down this quickly? Alright. I think we can peek. I remember peeking. I remember the triggers being peeking. So that's good. Always need, always need to peek. Alright. Going to uh, search around this room. You know, these are really fancy. Uh, look, there's cameras even set up around here. An open window so we can peek out into uh, the darkness. Love it. Setting the mood correctly, I love it. It's just my fi- oh! Good start! Love it! Thanks, TV, for randomly turning on. My favorite, don't jump scare, do not- awesome. I remember these tight little spaces you have to squeeze through. I remember that specifically being a thing in these first- in this first mission. Um, jump scare maybe? I don't, I don't remember. Okay, blood. We're seeing the first amount of blood right here. Should be a good sign to just walk right out that door that you just broke into. Hey, a battery! The whole objective of this game, right here. Let's keep going. Alright. Alright, no jump scare so far on that. Hey, another file. Let's pick it up. Oh, I remember these. These are uh, kind of little uh, therapy statuses on patients that they're experimenting on. So let's see this one. Patient claims to have progressed to self-directed lucid dream states, morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented, unprecedented scale, continuing stage 4 hormone schedule. Uh, let's just go straight to the interview notes. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff in the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security. Despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood of dreams of Dr. Traeger, note the only Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger is an executive MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. So again, they're obviously doing illegal experiments on these things. And us, as the great detectives that we are, the stupid detectives that we are, Okay, not cool, not cool. Do not want to go in that room. Don't even remember what I was saying. Not a big fan of this. Ugh. What a lovely sound. Can we get a Coke while we're here? Can I, ha I need a refreshing drink before I, you know, shit myself. I guess not. Blood dripping, this is a great touch. <clears throat> So far, the game's not too bad. There's a creepy, creepy feeling to it. I will admit that, but... Oh! Oh! Hey, 
Hey, big guy. What are you doing? He just wanted a Coke, just like I did. He was coming in there for a refreshment. A little bit salty that there's no Coke in there. Okay, first things first. Just saw a dude running across the hallway. Didn't notice that when I played this the first time around, but, uh, you know... I love it that there are doors blocking and everything, and, and what a great idea. And let's be extra loud as we fall out of this thing, too. Um, great idea. Good. Good job. Library. So, it looks like there's not any other way we can get around. We're going to be forced to go into the library. Already seeing blood, maybe, so let's go in. No really jump scares so far as we're going through the... Oh! Whoa! Oh! -ho! First real good one. Oh, I'm accidentally reloading the camera. Great, I'm so scared. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Please, please. There we go. Oh my goodness. The sounds of this game are just are crazy to me. It's so loud and just really just, just overwhelming, honestly. Wow, that was a good one. Good job, game. Good job, Outlast. Go! Oh! Got me again. They killed us. Oh, man. Sorry, dude. That looks like that hurts. The variants. Looks like that hurts a lot. Fight them. That looks like that hurts so much. God, this, so, this game is loud, but it's a great, great game. Okay, we have to unlock the main doors from security control according to the dude that has something shoved in his freaking chest. Yeah, working on it, bro. Thanks. God. Alright, please not another jump scare. I don't remember a whole lot about this game. Oh my goodness. Okay, so... Dark hallway. Looks great, let's do it. I've never before... Oh, hey. I've never before wanted to... Man, it is very dark in here. So, oh. Hey, a battery! What is this place? Oh! Bathroom! Kind of was needing to go to the bathroom. Random arm hanging out of the toilet, no big deal. Can't go that way. Yeah, half of the battle of this game is figuring out which ways I want to go and which ways I think is going to scare me less or more even. I'm not sure depending on what you like, and I know what you like. Don't worry. Another little squeezy place through. Let's go for it. Oh! Oh! Wow! Jeez, man, that was a little unnecessary. You didn't have to do that. I mean, I would have got out of your way. Don't worry. Oh man, well that hurt a little bit. Who are you? Who are you then? I asked you that first. But if you want to know a skinny white dude that gets scared shitless by these types of games. I I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. I can't guard my life. Will you help me out? But let me guess, you're just gonna leave and leave me here to die. Appreciate that. Maybe he gave us some medical attention. Maybe this dude is the dude behind all this. You never know. There's a lot of theories that I have going through my head right now. I don't know the ending of this. Again, I've only played through, uh, you know, the first uh, actual mission of this game. So we have to go to the security thing, obviously. We've got to uh, access the main doors. Where it's at, I don't know. Maybe it's in this big building or big room with all these on computers with nobody in them at all, but dead security guards everywhere. Big ol' open room. This place is very nice. I will add for that for an insane asylum, this is a very nice little place. Oh, what a sad little place to be in back here in the corner. A desk in the corner when all the rest of it is right here. I I'm sorry, dude. I'm making footprints, aren't I? Well, that's a pretty good addition to the game. Hey, look. Another document. Let's read it up. Whoop, wrong button. Let's see here. Oh, another uh, little therapy status. Uh, morphogenic engine activity plate plateaued at roughly two two thousand RPM or PPM. I'm sorry. Unsafe to progress beyond stage three hormone schedule. Uh, Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraints have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. Is that the dude we just saw that just threw us out the window? Because he was pretty big. Extensive dermal eru uh, eruptions is consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. 
Same, dude, me too. Seems to have some boyhood experience with Tatara lizards and their partial eyes. He's expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending orderlies should be advised to watch for the self-mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be retarding progression of the ME process. His predominant fixation amplified by therapy is a, man a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. Well, of course he's going to beat the hell out of you if you're experimenting on them like that. I don't blame him. All right, we're going to peek around this corner here. Let's peek. Why are you telling me to peek? That's where you're telling me to peek. Why is it that every single game slash uh, movie, TV show, whatever, has to have the dude in the wheelchair that is just the creepiest guy you've ever noticed? Oh, no. Lord, help me. The sounds he is making. Okay. L later. So, what? Hi? What you all doing? Watching the, the TV with the blood and stuff. A little crooked. I think you got that crooked. Oh no! No oh, hurry. Oh, this dude's looking up. What are you doing? I'm gonna record y'all. Y'all need some recording. Oh, is that a note? It is. Check it out. A crowd of broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's home. Uh, somebody's home. These creeps are. That's who's home. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, this, this, the sounds in this game are just... Okay, okay. No big deal. No big deal. We're fine. We're fine. What's in here? Another dead body with another computer that's on. Ooh, something flashing. Pick up key card for security control. Hey, we already found the key card, but I don't know where the security control is. I remember it being somewhere in a hallway, but that explains nothing. What is this? Yeah, like I said, the inventory. It's going to be in, in there with your notes and documents. Makes sense. Okay. We're going to go back through here. Hey, guys. Hey. How you doing? Don't jump scare me. Please. Stay right there. Bro. You got the... Uh, you good? Alright. Creep, too creepy for me. I'm out. Hello, guy again in the wheelchair. Just relax, man. Everything's good. See, he's chilling. He's alright. We're gonna get along great. Oh! God! Get him out! Woo! That hurt my chest! I can't feel anything right now. Relax, man. Just lay there. Everything's fine. You're killing me. My God. Why did we just bring a camcorder to this place and not a, a use of a weapon or something? This is crazy. Ho! Oh! All right, I'm awake now. All right, let's keep going here. So I got to find the security place. Not quite sure where this is. Another dark hallway. Let's go. Okay, empty room. Nothing really in it. Oh, except for a battery. Got me another battery. All right, let's keep going. Place are we thrown out of? Man, that's a big fall. That's got to at least be 10 feet. All right, search a dark room again. We have a battery in here. I, you know, I remember turning off my camera sometimes like that to search around the room to see if you could see some batteries flashing because I don't know, for some reason the night vision kind of covers up that flash. Okay, we're going to keep going. Oh, dude, I am so sorry, whoever that is. Let's continue on. Oh, man. Was that a document? Hold on. It is, sure enough. Let's read her up. All right, uh, in the matter of seizure of Mount Massive Psychiatric Center, Murkoff, okay, anyways. Affidavits have been made before the board of directors by Murkoff Hardline Security, who has reason to believe catastrophic security failure of Psychiatric Center with in imminent danger of environment contamination. We are satisfied that the affidavits and testimony establish sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS and grounds for the insurance issuance 
of this warrant. If you are you are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. By accepting of this document, you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of lit litigation against the Murkoff Corporation or its subsidiaries for the actions of MHS or the circumstances which require their actions regardless of responsibility. So obviously people were trying to investigate them before. Didn't end up too well for them. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know. All right. I think I remember this. All right. That's a very fitting... Oh, my goodness. I don't think I can get down here if I remember correctly. Yeah, no, not going to work out. This may be what we need to open um, at some point. But again, I'm trying to open the main doors, so that's all I'm really focused on right now is getting these main doors open. Oh! This is gonna, this game's gonna kill me before I'm done with it. Uh, oh, witness. All right, well, that would be me too, so I'm sure I'm gonna end up in a toilet stall. With my hand shoved down the next one and the other one just chilling here. I, oh, this game, this game, I swear. What's in here? Bunch of blood still. There, I, there is pools of blood everywhere. Oh my goodness, I don't even know. Oh, disgusting. All right. Oh! What was that? Did the door closed? That door definitely just closed. Somebody's in there. Um, thanks, man. Nope, nothing. Peek in my head in real life like I can see. Wow! Good one! Hey, I think this, this is. Sure enough, security. Security. Alright. Now we can get into the deal. Hey, alright. What? Oh, X to hide. Hey, I remember these. I remember if an enemy is coming toward you, you can kind of hide in here. Sounds good to me. Right, we're going to unlock this thing. I think this is about the part that I got to. Um, I remember there was more to it in the end, but you know. So, we're watching this TV screen, obviously. In place. Yep, sure enough. They know we're here. Of course they know we're here. They're looking straight at that camera saying, you're screwed, dude. Start the generator in the basement. The basement we just tried to get into. Hide in the locker. Don't try to fight. Okay, alright, well, no problem. You got it. How long are we going to have to hide in here for? Because, uh... Oh! There is a doorknob. You don't have to do that. So I wonder if this is the guy that threw us out of the, uh, the window earlier and the one we were just reading about. Yeah, I'm here. He's opening the doors. How lucky. How very convenient and lucky that he did not open my door. Stand there for a second like you know what you're doing. Bro, get out! Go! You've had your time here! Oh my goodness. This game, just this game alone is just, it's so, it's such a killer. Can I exit? They lie. Who lies? Who's lying? The people that have been in here experiment that are experimenting on this stuff. Thanks for interrupting me. So where did he go? Hello? Is he in here? Hey, another document. Let's read it at. Dear sir, is a full report pending? No immediate action is required on the part of the Murkoff Corporation. The profit potential of Project Wallrider remains staggeringly high. The four fatalities contain enough ambiguous data to make any litigation, if evidence is correct, the manage impossible. Project Wallrider remains a dangerous initiative, and there will almost certainly be further casualties. As with the others, however, family and government interest in the patients is, all, is so low as to make any chance of legal actions vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models but a combination of physical and chemical restraints have proven that it's sufficiently effective to assure continued control and profit, respectfully Helen Granite. So is Helen Granite somebody that works at this place? I'm not sure. More and more I go about this game, it's just, the story alone is creepy. Not even just the gameplay, but the story alone is just, it really demented from what I remember. And again, I just got through about this part before. This, this is, uh, it's still all new to me, but this is even more new to me than before. Um, I, I never want to run because I'm not sure if they're going to hear me when I'm running. Okay, so I think now this is going to be unlocked. It is. All right, well, 
that's a good first Let's Play. This is the first part of Outlast. Uh, this is the first one that I wanted to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. There was a couple of good jump scares in there. I remember some of this gameplay, but the rest of this is going to be foreign to me. So if you guys definitely like this, let me know. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Uh, you know, I would love to hear your feedback. I want to know what you guys are thinking. If this went as great for you as it did for me, um, we can continue this on. So again, just let me know. I will upload this here in just a, a few minutes. Uh, and, and happy Thanksgiving to you guys. I hope you guys are having a good one. So uh, until the next video, you guys have a good one. See you later.